Alex the dog dad here and I have my AI cook espresso maker so I've been using it for a month just wanted to say this thing is awesome it is actually pretty cheap it's like 30 bucks at least when I bought it so I'm gonna show you how to use it uh, I don't really use this thing here that's for the frothing I just use normal coffee coffee to make the espresso so what you do you take this thing off that's where the water goes dip this fill it up with water it's very simple fill this thing up I usually just go four cups four cups makes a normal serving of coffee now to be honest with you It does make the coffee pretty strong, but it doesn't really make it like an espresso, how it's really, really, really dark. It kind of makes it like a normal, strong cup of coffee. It's 30 bucks, it's not going to make it really, really strong, but it's good enough if you want a strong coffee. But I wouldn't really call it espresso, in my opinion. So what you do is you fill this thing up and I like to use really fine ground coffee. Fill it up basically, the more you put in here the stronger it's going to be. And then use the bottom part and pack it down. So if you want to put a little more, you can. But I kind of like it just like this. Okay. And then this thing goes into here where it says insert and then you lock it. So you want to put that in there. Just like that. Put on insert, you'll figure it out where it is, wherever it is goes in, it's right in this area here, lock it into place, it doesn't take much to lock it. Put that underneath like that, and then here, it's on off, you just want to turn it all the way to the right. And if it, maybe you put too much water in here, if it starts getting too high, you can put it towards pause. Okay, and that's basically it, once it starts Having a lot of steam come out, you turn this over to the steamer or turn it to off and then the rest of the steam will start spewing out of there and basically it's done. As soon as it fills up to where you put it, basically I put my water about here so the coffee is going to fill up to there and I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. Okay, we are about halfway done with the espresso, so called espresso. You see. It is pretty dark. It's darker than a normal cup and that's because you compress it down. So it does make it pretty strong, but it's not, you know, I mean, you get what you pay for. 30 bucks, it's gonna make it strong, but it's not gonna be just like a shot of espresso, which is really, really strong. So as you see earlier, how much water I put in there. This is basically to that silver part. Like I said, you can always pause it so it doesn't continue going over if you pour too much water in. So we're just about done. It's almost done dripping. I'm actually boiling some noodles. Okay, we'll go back. It's basically done. Go back here. You're going to turn it off. And all that steam is going to come out right there. It's no big deal. It's hot, but it ain't that bad. It's not like it's going to get water all over your table, all over your countertops or anything like that. I'm not ever going to bother showing the frothing. 
because it doesn't really work too well. I mean, it works, but I don't really know how to do all that stuff. I just like to make espresso. But there you go. You got a nice cup of strong coffee. You just pour that right in there, just like that. That's a pretty damn good strong cup. Have a great day, everybody. If you feel like buying this thing, I, rem I recommend buying it for 30 bucks. It's not that bad. But if you want to spend like 120 bucks on a really good one, hey, I'm sure those work just as good. Have a great day. Hey, dude. Can I enjoy my coffee without you barking? Hey, who's here? Who's that? Who is that? Hello? Hello? Ha ha ha!